Before I start the video, here's an answer to the question, where the hell have I been for the past five months? So I kind of ran out of ideas and I also spent a month on a video for it to get a hundred views, which was probably my fault for doing such a ridiculous video idea. Oh, and also the fact this happened. Oh man, I can't wait to do some super original video editing. It's been so long and I'm finally uploading. This is gonna be so good. Hold oh, on, before I continue, I just wanna actually check, has anybody done this before? Well, that's off the table. Even if nobody's done it, I still probably wouldn't continue it because, like, um, it's already been five hours and I've only done 30 seconds. So you might have noticed that Gorilla Tag has changed quite a lot this year, and I'm starting to notice a theme that Lemming is doing. I feel like this year, he's been going a bit over the top with the updates. Not that it's that bad, but let me just show you what I mean. In 2022, Lemming added two maps to Gorilla Tag, that being mountains and clouds. In 2023, Lemming also added two more maps, that being basement and beach. But in 2024, do you want to know how much maps he added? Nine. He added nine maps to Gorilla Tag, which I think everybody here can agree is a bit much. Four of the nine maps I just mentioned were temporary, but I'm still kind of adding them in because he did technically add them. Lemming has also been doing renovations on some maps over the past year or so too. I'm pretty sure the first revamp he ever did was on mountains in early 2023. In my opinion, this is probably one of my favourite revamps as it didn't add much but it was still a massive improvement. He added a fan which allows you to get to the entrance of the map easily and made the middle ice slide much easier to skate down. Next came the canyons revamp just a few months later and I absolutely adore this update. In my opinion, before the map was just really boring and plain with like kind of nothing to do. But this revamp changed everything. For example, they added more chasms and buildings and everything to make it really look like a proper hillbilly place, I guess. And they also added ropes and zip lines, two completely new mechanics that are probably one of my favorites. And yeah, they're kind of self-explanatory in what they do. The third revamp was in caves, which I was slightly half-half on. Now, I never really liked the old caves, except for one thing. When you go there alone in a private lobby, for some reason, it was just terrifying. The environment, the sounds, it all blended together to make a psychologically terrifying experience. I never really appreciated much until it was gone. But putting that aside, the new caves was much better. Oh, no! I love the piano, the water areas, and the whole vibe of the place. Clouds came next in early 2024 with a huge revamp. Lemming somehow made one of the most boring maps incredibly fun. He added these gliders and a massive tornado. You can go up the tornado and glide around and have so much fun. And now finally the last revamp as of making this video is the city revamp. This one is a bit controversial as not many people like it, but in my opinion Lemming did a really good job. It actually feels a bit more like a shop now instead of just a white building. Also kind of looks like Freddy Fazbear's but don't worry about that. Something that massively changed the game recently was the addition of custom maps in Vanilla Gorilla Tag. Before, you needed a computer to access them, but now, you can just go to the new arcade map, put on these headset things, and you're in Virtual Stump. There isn't many custom maps out right now, but they're adding more as time goes on. In fact, I think they should add my custom map. I mean, just look at this glory. Tell me you wouldn't want that in the game. Yeah, anyways. I absolutely love the fact that you no longer need a PC to play custom maps. Now you might see that there's a lot of people that don't like all these changes, and I don't think it's because of the updates itself. I think it's because Lemming crammed so much new stuff as fast as he could. I mean it's speculated that he's adding a space update, which would be really cool, but come on, it's been a month since the latest map release. And I think it's the fact that all these new things being thrown at our face, I think that's the reason why new maps just don't hit the same anymore. For example, if you were playing by the time Beach was releasing, you were most likely insanely excited when that wall started like cracking and stuff. And when the Beach actually released, that was probably one of my favourite updates of all time. But nowadays, that recently added a Bayou map. Bayou, Bayou, how do you pronounce it? That map is actually really cool, but it just wasn't really exciting for me when it came out. So now we know why Gorilla Tag is vastly different to how it was before, and why many people dislike it. But what could Lemming actually do to bring back the excitement into the updates? Well I think spacing out new releases and adding more cosmetics to the updates can at least help a bit. 
other than that, I think it's just people having played the game for so long that it's just getting boring. Which, I mean, it happens to everything really, so I don't blame them. So yeah, final thoughts. I still love the game and the updates, but I think it should at least be toned down just a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot since I recorded it. It's not, oh fuck, it's not here. Oh f Oh no, this wasn't meant to happen. Why is Lucy here? Oh no. Oh my god! Please, please, please! No, I can't move! I can't move! No, please, please! Bro, my game lagged. I couldn't move.